Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back for Chapter 7 of the Shadowlands 9.1 campaign. Chapter 7 is the power of night and we're looking for former night warriors to try and save to Rhonda Whisperwin. And we're heading into Revendreth now because oh, Horn High Mountain's got himself here. into trouble. Down here, down where? Over here? What you doing down there, Lady Moonberry? Why are you hiding? You don't need to hide, they're our friends. Use a help, huh? I'm glad you could get here so quickly. We've um, run into a uh, little bit of a hiccup. Always a pleasure. Hunting Horn. Horn is somewhere in the area. But the Stone Rite isn't letting anyone into her territory because of the recent um, troubles with Dreadlords. The guards won't let anyone in. And they're kicking out anyone who doesn't look like they belong. Oh, well, that at least explains why she's hiding. Uh, luckily for Horn, Cudgel Face here and I came up with a foolproof plan. Are you guys sure about that foolproof bit? We just need to look like we belong and then we can ask around and find Horn. Easy! Donna disguise, then search Dominance Keep for Horn High Mountain. What can I do for you? Hmm, so what exactly is this plan? We need to look like we belong. So you and I are going to don some disguises. We'll ask if anyone has seen Hong. He's sure to stick out like a broken twig around here. You just worry about them keen-eyed ones. They'll see through you right quick. Right, so we're going to have to... Avoid the ones with the eyes or whatever the marker they've got that can see through disguises. Special one, aren't you? Right, so... Oh, actually, the disguise is really good. I was worried it might be a really bad disguise, but this is actually a really good one. Right, so we need to head in this sort of direction. So we're going to be asking people questions to see if they've seen Horn. And everybody's on high alert for strange-looking people because of... Right. The stone be suspicious. Of one upon the hill. Yes, yeah, so it's got like a little blue... Don't circle above his head. No, don't no, be no, suspicious. No, That's no, very suspicious, that dear. Yes, yeah, saying don't be suspicious is totally suspicious. <laughs> I love Lady Moonbury. She's so much fun and she does so many silly things. It just makes you smile. Oh, look, that's very convenient. There's nice big blue circles on the oh, floor around the ones that can see. Okay, let's try this busy stone ball. What it's too busy it? to notice. Okay, Have you seen anything no, usual? But we will slaughter any intruders on sight. Oh, right, we will. Oh, yes, definitely. Slaughter. Uh, <laughs> Carry on, then. I'm not quite sure, sure about slaughter. Should we maybe take them prisoner and question I them think first? I need to be a bit more specific. Why do we need to be more specific? Horn is, exactly like you said, it'd stick out like a sore thumb, so he'd be very obvious if he was uh, seen, wouldn't he? I don't think we need to be more specific. So there's quite a few other guys with circles above their heads. But they're quite easy to avoid so far. Because, oh, I just said this, they're quite easy to avoid so far. But at the moment we've got two of them close together and they're kind of blocking the way. Yeah, I definitely want to keep going this way. So we need to um, wait for them to... There, now we can get past. That was the only time so far that we've had to wait. There we go, that was quite easy, wasn't it? Uh, he's got a big blue circle. We're just going to have to wait for him to move. There we go. Now we can sneak past. That's a bit suspicious, isn't it? Waiting for them to move. Uh, that one stood still, so there, but there is a gap to get round. Yeah, so the avoiding them hasn't been too hard so far. You just have to keep a bit of awareness. Hello, fellow Stoneborn. Might we ask you a question? No, you may not. No. Oh. I'm busy with this piece of Dreadlord filth. Find something useful to do before the Stone Rite gets angry. You don't want to see her angry. Oh no, they're making her sound like the hawk. <laughs> Mal appropriated. The Dreadlord catches your eye, wishing to speak. 
You glance at your companions. Moonberry urges you forward with a mischievous grin. You step as close as you dare. Free me from this prison, mortal, and you will have my favour. I am aligned with powers greater than these pathetic puppets or their masters. They have no concept of the true forces at work. All I need are the sigils of binding which hold me. The rest I can take care of. Free me, and you will be granted untold power. Collect the sigils of binding. We really open him escape? <laughs> of course not. We're just going to have a bit of fun. Good. I'm glad she just wants a piece of fun because letting him out would be a really bad mistake since we only just locked him up. Right, so which way do we want to go? We looks like we want to go... Ooh, that was a little bit close, wasn't it? Up here, I think. So what is the plan, Moonbury? Are we just are we going to get the sigils and then taunt him with them or what? Are we gonna see if we can get any information out of him or are we gonna use it to get info out of the so good guys? They just leave these lying around? What are you doing, Muckborn? Oh, Stowright wants these kept safe, mate. Wouldn't want to make her angry, right? Hey? Eh? Take them. Quickly! Everybody's terrified of the stone right. They're just gonna let us take them because they're terrified of the stone right and they don't want to ask questions. Oh, that's bad. That means anybody could have took them. Right, so if we go... Actually, that might have been a mistake going around there because I think we need to go in front of there. I bet there's one on that circle where she stood blocking the entire route. Yes, there is. I knew there was going to be one there. Right, so we've already got half of those, so that was really quick. Right, where are the rest? Are they further down? Ah, we can use our little fly thing. Well, it's not really a fly, it's a sort of semi-glide, isn't it? Her wings kind of bent a little bit far there. It looked a little odd. Like they wouldn't have really supported us on that glide, though. I mean, I know they're supposed to be vestigial wings, so they don't really fly, but, but they should have been a bit more rigid for holding the air to glide down a bit. They just locked, looked really odd because they bent backwards. Alright, so if we just sneak in and grab this one, that's the last one, and then we, we need to get back. To, oh, now we jumped yeah, off, so how do we get back? Nice guard just how easy it was to collect these. And they kill us. Where to find your bloke? <laughs> you think like the fangs, Miss Wiggs. Yeah, that might work, actually. Are you suggesting that Lady Moonbury is as dastardly plot-wise as the uh, Venthyr are? Ooh, we need to watch out for Moonbury then, don't we? She acts all playful, but she's got a razor-sharp little mind in there. Yeah, I think this will lead us back to her. Yeah, this is back the way we came before, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to take us back where we were. See, the jumping off could have confused us there a bit. Right, round the edge. Yeah, this is definitely the way we came up the first time. Excellent, we're nearly there now. So, let us see if Moonberry's dastardly clever plot is as clever as she thought it was. Get on with it. That dreadlord tried to bribe me into freeing him. These sigils of binding weren't that hard to grab. By the stone rat's chisel, she'd have turned me into rubble for letting him escape. Thank you. Have you seen anyone in usual being taken there was into an custody? There incident on the wall, but the stoneborn honor guard brought it to an end. Oh, thank you. <coughs> thank you. She's not doing very well with her disguise of voice, is she? Be a bit me. more careful. Looks like he went and got himself nicked by the big waves. Yep. So it does look like Horn was detained. Right. Where you do were. we get? Some Supposed to be in Revenget. If he got nicked, I know where they took him. Oh, that's good then. Oop. Hey, let me have the quest. The big squeeze. So our missing blue got himself dragged off to the big squeeze. Fortunately, I'm wise to the prize. We'll soft foot it in like we work there. Find your moose, avoid eye contact with the fangs, and chisel out of here like we're masons. 
follow? Quest objectives. Head to where Cudgel Face thinks Horn was taken and blend in. Okay, let's go to the prison and grab our guy. You shall regret this betrayal soon enough. No, we're not going to help you, Malganus. Nice. There's no way we would help you. There's no way we would regret you. It's not you in jail. Take a joke. So, where are we headed? Up Some people can't side. take a joke. We're the squeezers so are easy. taking full run. Processing. Yeah, yeah. Processing, you mean torture, don't you? Yeah, he means torture. Right, so, uh... I feel like we should be up there. How do we... Is this a way up? Yes, this looks like we're heading in the right direction. Right, round the circles. I think we're relatively close. Maybe these buildings here? Don't think we can get in... No, we can't get in down the side. Where's the access? Hmm, doesn't need to be access there. Ooh, can't get past at the moment because the blue... Ah, oh, no, we can get inside here. Is there any way... Ah, oh, what's this? You are Hello. late. We have Adam in need of extraction and the stone right is occupied. Begin the process and be quick about it. Uh, this okay. Right. Better be important. Off we go then. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, we'll... Well, at least they're letting us in. Who do they want to process? I hope it's not home. Mind you, if it is home, then that means we found him quite easily, doesn't it? So, could the face... What, oh, it's not home. Unfortunately, yeah, it's not sweat. home. Uh, what, what should we do? How exactly yeah, does this work? You. Well, you see, the fangs make a face what put them in Reven Bat. Tell me about the bad stuff you did, or else. Never! Tell him about the bad stuff. Oh, come on, Moonry, that's not going to work. Hmm. Oi. So what do you think now, guys? Best we keep a low profile Don't by helping out. None of them got sent here by them. Not quite. This place is about wrath, eh? Anger. Great. Wrath and anger. Spriggans. Greedy, growth-killing, dressed. Sickly, ah. chewing, gone. Ah, oh, Moon Queen. <laughs> See, she's getting her own wrath out, look. Not your wrath, their wrath. And so now we're fighting Moonbreeze Rats. <laughs> hey, at least we've got something to fight the person upstairs will think we're doing something. I suppose it's progress. Oh, hey, Moonbreeze is so cute. She conjured up some decent bad guys to fight as well. They're quite tough. No one knew that the little winged girl he had all this, all this wrath inside and an anger and displeased madness and craziness. <laughs> right, any better ideas about how to help with this person now, Moonbury? So the golem is the last one. Right, let's give it another Got go. It. Well, I can't click on him. He said, let's give it another go. Uh, what do you want me to do? How about Mimbra? Mimbra got any ideas? Okay. Ah, right, okay. Talk to her to start again. Tell me about your mother. She was my world, and she was slain in front of me. Tell me about your mother, and that worked. That worked. Keep going. Of your mother made you angry. Help! I she's being a therapist! I had no one else! Yeah, that's the stuff! Do you think losing her led you to a life of murder and rage? Maybe. I just. Ah, so Moomber is just. Being a psychiatrist and sit around the couch and you're analysing her when it worked. Oh gosh, that is, that is a good quest. I like that one. Well done whoever wrote that. That is fun. And it had to be Moonbury to make it funny. <laughs> oh dear, 
great a burden of wrath from talking about a mother who's psychoanalyzing her. for quite a few dead mothers yourself? I... Yes, I was. Well, I think we had a breakthrough. Good session. Yeah, so totally soon. good psychotherapy. Impressive. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, they're impressed by us as well. We didn't have a clue what we were doing, and now they're impressed by us because she psychoanalyzed them. Have you seen a large uh, blue um, soul with the uh, horse? with the intruder. Why do you want to know? Well, with the cleaning crew, obviously. Interrogating them trespassers makes a mighty mess, on it? <laughs> then you will have no shortage of work. Uh -oh. I have never seen the stone right so furious. Oh, I wonder why she's so upset. He's one of the good guys. No! We have to hurry! Sounds like Horn might not have much time. Out on the edge. It sounds like Horn was taken elsewhere and by the stone right herself. We should look for signs. She came through the area. Hopefully that will lead us to Horn. Track down Horn High Mountain. Is okay, so we're doing a tracking job now. So nice to see you. It's always fun hanging out with you, Lady Mimbri. It's always a bit of a blast and it's usually a lot of fun. Right, so back out of here, I think. And then we look for signs. Now, what sort of signs do we get, then? And do we have any way to look for them? Well, All I have is my gliding wings, this gig, yet. Ms. wings. Meh, the Dead Mother trope is such lazy writing. <gasps> oh, lazy writing. Oh, they're joking at themselves now. <gasps> That cuts a bit close to the quick, doesn't it, that? Lazy writing. Oi, that cowering one has definitely seen the stone right. Ah, right, so we look for people that have been upset by the stone right, basically. This had better be important. Has the stone right passed this way with a captive recently? Are you dead? She threatened to throw him into the moor. Oops, better that's not good. Dead. The moor? Oh, we better beat feet if we want to save this bloke. Come on! Why is she so upset she wants to chuck him into the moor? He hasn't done anything. The stone right is supposed to be on our side. Why would she want to chuck him into the moor? That does not make sense. Oh, that bear is right in the way. Um, actually, can we go round this way? Uh, yeah, I think we can go round over here, can't we? Yeah. It looks like we're relatively we close. Gotta be close now. We're running out of realm. Oh yeah, this is definitely the right way to go. Look, there's the big moor area open there. Look. Oh, got some. There's home. Don't throw him. He's not a dreadlord! <laughs> he can't answer if you're using it. A terrible misunderstanding! Oh, more of your wretched kind! I will slay you all myself! Um, we're not dreadlords! Um, Stone Right, it's me, remember? We're friends. We were helping each other in the last chapter. Oh, are we really going to have to fight her? Hey, calm down, girly. Why are you so upset? There's no dreadlords here. I know they really upset you, but see, you recognise me now? There, you see, she's come to her senses. She's figured out who we are. Why are you in red and dread? <clears throat> Quickly explains I ourselves. We seek night warriors who pass beyond the veil. Explain. This is no place for the living. Ah, right, Lady Moonbury, let's talk to her. This should be interesting. We found Horn, and conveniently, he was with just the person we need to help with the ritual. I love it when things work out for everyone, don't you? So the stone right's the one we're looking for. Ooh. Back to the heart. We should hurry back to Ardenweald. You go on ahead and find you Sarah. 
I'll escort to the stone right there and make sure Hun gets back. Return to Ysera in front of the heart of the forest in Ardenweald. So the stone right was the person we were looking for, but somehow Hulm managed to not explain it to her and get get her to believe he was a dreadlord. Not quite sure what went wrong with them. I would love to see that confrontation because that would have been a spectacular misunderstanding, wouldn't it? So if we're heading back for a big ritual, I think we might need an, a fourth part to this chapter. This is a really long chapter, isn't it? This is great. So let's go get on the flight path. And then we will pick up again back in Ardenweald for part four, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming! The Arbiter sees all.